What's up, bitches? Welcome back. I'm on the floor today because I'm going to show you all the bathing suits that I have because I've mentioned many times before how I think I have an addiction. But I don't. I, I do think, but I also don't. Okay, I do think that I do, but I also don't think I do because I think it's a healthy thing. It's just something every single time summer rolls around and Target starts bringing out the racks, I crave a new one. I need another one. And I still wear all of them. Like, I don't have, like, one that I wear all the time because I just forget about all my other ones. But I'm going to show all of them to you and tell you where they're from. Um... I, as a kid, I was the tankini girl, okay? And that was because I wasn't like a like little skinny kid. I wasn't like big either. I was just in the middle. So like I had a, I had a tummy, I was, I was a kid. So like I had a tummy and stuff like that all through elementary school, all through middle school um, until around eighth grade or so. That's when I finally started um, to see more changes because obviously middle school is when you go through puberty. Um, I don't like how that... Okay, that looks better. And yeah, I never really wore bikinis. I always wore one piece or a tankini. And just because I never felt really confident, I really liked the way that I looked in them. And now that I've gotten to this point where I do like the way that my body looks and I'm proud that it looks this way and I feel comfortable in bikinis, I'm going to show you what I like the best, like what works for me. Um, my boobs are a C cut, by the way. So yeah, I am wearing a bathing suit right now and the top is a halter. Okay, well, I could just lift flash you so the top is a halter and it's so cute super cute right um I don't know where it's I think it's a Roxy one and it's one of the two that I got from my mom the bottoms I don't wear though they're these like and they have this matching little flower I think it's Roxy oh it's not it looks like a Roxy bathing suit though. The tag says this. It says O-N-D-A-D-E-M-A-R. Size 12, so these are like not my size. I think, cause I think that these are like kids. Like when you're getting underwear, that's not my underwear size. Anyway, we're going to do it. Sorry, I just turned. You, well, it's a Saturday. It's Saturday, so it's not that far from literally yesterday when my vlog went out, and then I had to. I was done doing the stuff that you saw on the vlog on Thursday. Edited it Thursday. Had to have it up, so I still haven't fully unpacked yet from hanging out with Ava. Okay, I don't think I have any really organized way. I could do it by like place, or I could do it by like style. I feel like place would be easier for you if you're interested in getting them and then I'll just refer back and forth between styles or you'll probably see because I have a lot of the same style. Anyway, we're going to start with, I already showed you the halter one that was from my mom and this is the other bathing suit that I got from my mom. We literally have, there's a picture of her and my dad. It's this little yellow, it's polka dotted but you can barely see it stringy like look how cute and curly this up these are I don't know I don't it's not supposed to tie in the front it's supposed to tie in the back but it's I tie it in the front because I like the ruffles here rather than other place and it's Ralph Lauren and the bottoms are absolutely perfect it looks so long because they're high rise like they go up it's perfect it says Ralph here I love it. The bottoms I'm wearing right now are just plain red tie ones that are high leg ones that I got this year from Target and the top I have to go with it. It doesn't, it's not necessarily the right one because this is like terry cloth and the other ones like 
swimsuit material, but it's just a red triangle one because I really wanted a red triangle one. So now I have one. A lot of my bathing suits are from Target and a lot of them are triangle. So this is from Target. Let's go into the Target ones. Um, also from this year's like summer ones is this cute brown one. Um, the back is like this and then it's like one tie. Cute, right? I like it. And it's, it's still like a bathing suit, obviously, but it's just, yeah, in the front. But I'm usually a medium, I'm a medium, and I think a medium top, large bottom. Because I also like to pull mine like up more on my hips, and it's just plain tie bottoms. I have so many tie bottoms and so many triangle tops. That's like, I guess, my thing. From Target, literally like a couple years ago, I got this the year that Emma Chamberlain, if you remember, she went to Hawaii and she wore this orangey top like this, like orange ba bathing suit. And it had these yellow square buckle things. And so I remember seeing this or remembering that I had it and being like, oh my God, because it has these little buckle things. You could totally tell that this is like picked out by like a seventh grader, but now that I'm older, obviously as you age and if you can still fit into old like little things like that, it almost makes it look like, oh, cute, trendy. Like how Devin Lee Carlson has that one like candy crush robe from, I, th I think it's Dylan's Closet is the website that it's from. And she's like, Obviously, she's not a f like a fifth grader. Like if you took a fifth grader or a five-year-old also in that robe and then you took her, she makes it look different because obviously she's older and that's just how clothes work, obviously. But I would still wear this today. I would totally wear this to the beach because at the beach, I'm not really keen on wearing like a triangle top because I like to go in the water and I don't want to have to be like all modesty, like, you know. I also boogie board at the beach, so that doesn't really seem comfortable to me. But this, I think, is still so cute. Crosses in the back and ties in the back. And the bottoms are like this. The bottoms are kind of big for me, even though they are a large. And that's because I get a large in the tie ones, obviously, because they're adjustable. But this is not adjustable. But it's still cute. Yeah, I would totally wear that to the beach. Um, Another one, I got this one with this one, also from Target, is this, like palm print these are totally not like you can't pull them up to be like this you can't they literally just sit straight I actually haven't tried it on in a while so maybe I can debunk that but they have these little four little strap things and the top is odd but it's odd in the way that like it tightens and fits but It's like a wannabe triangle, but it has this strap at the bottom that connects it all and like this lacy moment in the middle. Can you see, right? And then it just goes straight down, like straight in your back. And it's a clasp, like a thin clasp. I don't know, I don't know. Um, also from Target, just last summer, they did like a ton of neons. And these two bathing suits look so neon on camera. It's insane, like giving highlighter. And I was never like an orange girl or anything until this one Hollister bathing suit that I'll show you. But um, this is, I think the triangle shape is just really flattering for my body. This is one that I would wear to the beach because it's not like a tie. I'm really nervous about the ties and the beach and all that sort of stuff, even though the bottoms are ties. But that's what I like about this. This bathing suit and the other one from sort of the same collection, but obviously different colors, um, have tie bottoms, which I like, and they're ribbed. Another thing that I like, if it's not printed and it's, then there's like plain ones, obviously that like don't have anything on them. They're, they're just regular plain fabric that just match. Um, I really like when there's ribbed ones because ribbed, obviously it's lines. Well, you can kind of barely see cause it's so fucking bright, but there's lines. And so it almost feels like a print. So it's like just a little thing to spice up a bikini. And yeah, this also goes straight back and then clasps. Um, 
still a triangle shape, but it's still, it's just really cute and really, really flattering. And the bottoms are just plain tie, also ribbed, of course. Um, the other one is this, it's called an apron top. And it's really hard to tell like which one's the top and which one's the bottom. So you have to like look at the cups. At least that's what I do. Like I look at the cups because the cup goes like almost like, you know, a triangle. So wherever the flat side is, which is here in the cup is the bottom. So it goes around your neck and around and there's like nothing on the back, obviously, besides the fucking tie, but it's still really cute. And I would also wear this to the beach because of the, it just being straight across. And then the bottoms, of course, are tied. Also, another thing that you might notice is that I try to have not too many of like one color. I'm trying to collect the rainbow, okay? I don't have like a purple one and I don't have, wait, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Yeah, I don't have like a plain, like I don't have like a classic blue one and I don't have a purple one. Oh, but um, I think those are all my bikinis from Target. But the one pieces that I was saying that I found that I really liked are from Target too. And I got the red one this year. It's like this cutout one. I show it in my summer outfit video, but it's just, this goes up like past your belly to like under your ribs. And then this is just like a top and it's connected here. And this one claps, clasps in the back because I think it's a different brand than my other one. This is Kona Soul and I get a medium because I'm kind of tall. And then I also, I got the black one first and I, I just love it. It's a bit different. I got it not this year, but last year, the accents are rose gold, which I mean, I'm not wearing my jewelry, but nonetheless, I, I like silver. And this has like no clasps, no nothing. It still has like the strap tighteners, which this one doesn't have. And the straps are thinner. Um, I think the difference with this one is also, they're both ribbed. This one is more thin and this one is all vertical ribbing, but the black one has horizontal ribbing up at the top and then vertical at the bottom. And this is from Shade and Shore. I think I like the black one better, but I like the color of the red one, of course, but it's the same like cutout moment. I think the bottoms just don't go up as high one pieces that I was telling you about they're like the same color yeah these are two different ones um I st oh wait they're still they're cute they're still cute this one's like a like a ruffled moment oh the tag's not even off of this one and it has these tie lace up sides okay and that's literally it that's it but it's actually no it's actually really cute i would wear it it still literally has like the the crotch wrapper <laughs> but this was the first ever one that i got i don't think i really like it anymore probably would not wear it but it's like a high neck little cutout moment it just really gives like mother like this gives mom that like just had a baby and like they want to go to the beach but like this like torso area is like roughly fabric so you put it on and it's still like scrunchy and then that's literally it for the front and then the back is obviously the high neck but then it crosses and then ties i just don't think that this is like for my age like i'm 16 like i don't know and like the darkish green teal color also just doesn't give it just doesn't one from walmart that i got this year too that's green which i would totally wear this one to the beach it's just like a dark emerald green i love this color it's i think it's one of my favorites and it's like the cute there's the hole in the tie and then 
across and then just tie again. And the bottoms is what I think. They're like the align ones and they're like high. They can go high on your hips. So I love that. Um, that's all I have from Walmart. I need a drink. So I have, this is one of my favorites ever. It's the most flattering top in the fucking world. I don't know if you can see it on camera. I think you can see it probably maybe more on the bot. No, you can't on camera because it looks literally bright as fuck. But I don't really wear this one so much anymore. One, because I haven't gone to the beach in so long. Two, because I don't have like a pool pool. Three, I wear the smallest ones I can. So I usually end up wearing one in like triangle tie moment to tan outside so i don't really wear this one because it goes straight across um regular tie bottoms but it's ruche so it's like this crinkly crinkly fabric um it's this it's darker than this one even though maybe i mean obviously you can see it's darker but this is just like a orange like when i think of the color orange i think of this orange um and it's the top here the bikinis that I got from Hollister here are the first ones that I got, I believe. And if they weren't, then they were probably those like palmy ones that I already showed. But this is the most flattering top in the whole entire world. I love it more than I can even explain. And these tie bottoms are supposed to be high-waisted and stuff. I haven't really compared them to like held them up to my target ones but these like can pull up to go they're perfect they're just perfect um and then this is the top okay it looks a lot like that green one right but it's not look at how it's like almost like a figure eight moment how it's bended or it's bent or swooped at the bottom and it's swooped at the top okay and it just has these simple little strings and then it goes back right it goes back right here and it's like crisscrossy and there's these strappies that pull it in and then it ties oh my god I love it so much it's just perfect it's perfect and I love Hollister and I don't even know if they make this anymore I think I got this two or three years ago it's beautiful and perfect and I got these because Hollister does have a quite often sales um and I got it when Emma Chamberlain was like in partnership with them i also got those like jeans that she was always wearing the mom jeans like the acid wash and the regular and the ones that had like the collar as the waistband if you know what i'm talking about um i got those three and i got these bathing suits and i really wanted the one she has this one picture on her instagram of a blue one that's ribbed and it's like high waisted and i was like oh my god a high waisted bikini bottom i need that i got this instead because they didn't have that specific one in the color but i did get that bathing suit in a different color i got it in white because i think it's this one i think it's this top um i still can't wear this top it is too big the straps are not adjustable and it's like too flimsy here for the girls for the boobs so for the longest time i had this literally tied in a knot like it was tied it wasn't clasped like it is now because it just doesn't doesn't fit but lucky for me i got two white rib tops like this because they have so many plain colors but they're like cool fabrics um the other white top that i got is this cute one it's literally just white straight across adjustable straps and clasp and then the bottoms I wear a lot now. They're just these plain ones, ribbed. I love them. Okay, this is the last place. I think I got them, um, I think it's, yeah, Kmart. I got these from Kmart and they are literally the cheapest ever. I remember getting them for when I forgot my bathing suit. I forgot my bathing suit on the way to like the pool or something. Like I packed everything else, towels and all my siblings stuff, but I forgot my bathing suit. Or I packed like two tops or I packed two bottoms. So I just had to go in and get them and they're like five bucks. So I don't think that Kmart exists anymore. But when they did, they were great. When they did, they were great. Um, first I just have this regular white tie top. 
which is kind of insignificant now, seeing as though this is the white tie bottoms that I thought would be a good idea to tan, to fake tan in. I, I was smelling to see if they still smell like the fake tan. They don't, but I just have this plain white top. I mean, you can never go wrong with a plain white triangle top, so I guess whatever. And I have these random plain blue bottoms that don't fit because I have really, not weird because all bodies are perfect. And I have different proportions that like, as you can see, a lot of my bottoms are tied. And if they're not, they're bottoms that I would not trust at the beach or pool, diving, moving, no. Like these from, they're large, don't fit. Like they're loose, it just doesn't work. One that I do wear all the time though is this one. It's just this teal triangle top and teal tie bottoms and I love them. Or I love it because it's one single thing, but it's simple, but it does the trick. Because I don't think I have any plain triangle tie bottom moment. I don't. There's always something different. The red one that I have will never be wearing the bottoms out literally anywhere because they're high leg ones and the high leg ones from Target show too much of my butt. So yeah, I have a few more in here that are just like miscellaneous ones or ones that like I will never wear. This was, these are the bottoms of the first bikini that I ever got. And I still think that they, I think they still have this print. And I'm, I keep them because they're a medium, so I could literally wear them still. But they have this pink lace. I don't think I ever would wear them because, once again, these are ones that literally go straight across. Like, I don't think I can pull them up over my leg without them just slipping back down. Um, I don't have the top because it does not fit. This one is horrendous. But it was on sale for, like, I think it's literally, like, $4 or whatever. I think it gives, like... crazy aunt on like single aunt that loves margaritas on a trip to Hawaii and the bottoms no it'll really solidify with you when I show the bottoms yeah yeah it was 85% off this bikini was 85% off so I mean I wonder why no one wanted it before it can go on clearance but Ugh, cannot stand. You're gonna scream too. You're not gonna have a good time when I show you it. Maybe you'll laugh, but yeah, I did. I have the sheen ones. I don't recommend them at all. Like, they're just not good. But I do have this print and it's underwire and Maybe it's flattering, but the bottoms I could never wear anywhere in my life. They're also high leg, high waisted, whatever. No, they're high, they're high leg ones, not high waisted ones. And I got it in pink. And then I also got a different blue top, but another problem, it's not adjustable literally fucking anywhere. Like this is it. Like you better fit the sizing for this. And I don't. Um, High leg bottoms. High leg is when it like goes up like this at the side. So it goes high on your leg. Rather than high waisted is when like there would be more fabric here to make it high waisted. Not even one cheek of mine would fit in here. Like maybe one, I, I guess. But then also the pink ones. I don't know when I'm ever gonna wear these. Um, I keep them because yes they still fit me and maybe in the future I'll do some amazing race mud race and I'll need to wear a bikini and I'll wear this or maybe I won't because my crack will literally be out but nonetheless yeah that's what we have now that I've taken all these out I can pair them up and organize them and put them back in my little drawer that goes under my bed Bathing suits still in here. Well, they're not really bathing suits. They're rash guards. And my 
sport ones. And another rash guard, another rash guard, another rash guard. So three rash guards and another Nike sport one. So, and I already showed you these. So that's it. Okay, everyone, I just did my little, did my thing. Um, organized all my stuff, put it back. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was, I actually don't know what I hope that this was. I just hope that it was enjoyable enough for you to watch it all the way through. Um, thank you for watching. I love you. And I am filming this so early, not even technically in the next week that this is, in the week that this is coming out. Because hopefully when you see this on Friday, which is in six days because it's Saturday so you're not going to see it for yeah six days um I've gotten a jump start on getting my permit um so I have 13 days to do all my stuff for it um I'm going to be filming it because I'm the oldest so I know what it feels like to literally have no one there, like, when you go through school, there's no one that your teachers are like, oh, you're blah, 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 is, like, younger siblings, you know? Like, no. I paved that path for all four of my younger siblings. They have no idea how lucky they are because I feel so lost every single day. Continuously. Um, when you turn 15, you do not get, like, an, a letter from the government telling you how to, like, get your permit, like... And from my experience and also friends that are going through the stuff now, your parents aren't like the second you turn 15, like, okay, here's all the stuff. They're like, figure it out. So hopefully, yeah. In the video, I hope that I can also have, I'm going to probably link in the description, the driver's ed course that I did um, and, you know, help you through it like your older sister. Because I'm here for all of you. I love you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Everybody's a bikini body. You just need to find something that you feel confident in. And that's all. I love you. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next week on Friday at 1 p.m. PST.